Well, welcome to a special edition of Every Edition. Uh, this episode, we are going to be uh, doing a year-end wrap-up for 2021, and specifically, we're taking a look at all of the different releases from Free Role-Playing Game Day. So, 2021, maybe the best Free Role-Playing Game Day of all time. There's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> and uh, I've been, over the over the past couple months, collecting... Uh, trying to collect everything, mm. every release. I'm sure I'm probably missing one or two, but I got the bulk. <laughs> and uh, so Jesse and I are going to be reviewing uh, reviewing them, uh, you know, one at a time. It'd be cool to, like, have a small session of playing all of them. Yeah. Oh. It'd probably take all year next year. But. That's right. <laughs> no, there's a, there's a lot of good stuff. Uh, a lot of good stuff this year. I think just in general, when it comes to free role-playing game day, my favorite thing is quick start rules. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's what I that's what I gravitate for and uh, gravitate towards and grab uh, first if I'm limited at a store by what I can get. Um, but so I'll go first. Let's just jump right in. Yeah, let's just jump right in here. So um, uh, Q Workshop, which is out of Poland, uh, makers of some of the finest dice that you can imagine here, um, had a free dice sample, a D6 uh, steampunk clockwork mm. nautical apparatus themed uh dice and uh they have the full set is available on their website for 17 dollars uh, like i said q workshop is out of poland mm. and they are uh known for making dice for uh cyberpunk red nice. for call of cthulhu for pathfinder for the witcher uh role-playing game uh and they also have a new modern d4 which is not the regular like pyramid shape it's more curved and like round and sure. stuff. It's weird, um, but so I'm sure. <laughs> a new take on a D4. Yeah, new take on the D4. So I'm sure plenty of you have heard of a Q Workshop and their quality dice. But uh, first up was this free sample. So next up from Dungeon Crawl Classics, a, a, a favorite of the show. Yes. We have Tomb of the Savage Kings. It is actually a level two uh, mini adventure. Great. So you can roll up characters quick, level them up. Um, it seems very, very much in the vein of uh, AD and D. Yeah, um, it, it was. Uh, this was actually the number one thing that I wanted. Really, from free role play <laughs> game. Oh, without a doubt. And I think the, you know, they're only available for a limited time. They mm. are, they are free, which is really nice because it's the same quality of any any other um, Goodman Games Dungeon Crawl Classics module. But um, they only print so many, and. Um, yeah, I love the artwork, yeah. and I love the, the dungeon great. artwork in Dungeon Crawl Classics, Absolutely. too. So, and having a free version of it is even better. It's great. All right, so next up, uh, we've got another dice sample, uh, this time from Gatekeeper Games out of California. They are the makers of fine resin dice, and this is their Swirl Pool uh, set of dice. I'll see if you can see that there. Um, but uh, they are known for their, uh, their quality resin dice. Um, I they have a halvesy series, which is like half one color and half oh, another. Sure, sure, sure. Um, and I, I took a, I took a look at their website and I was particularly interested in their flame and frost dice. I thought looked really good. They actually just had a Kickstarter too for uh, holiday themed dice. So they had a mm. green die and the twenty was a was a holly leaf. Uh, the uh, they had a set of red dice and the twenty was a Santa hat. <laughs> and they had a set of blue dice and the twenty uh, was replaced with a menorah. Sure. So um, you know great holiday uh, holiday themed dice their sets of dice retail for around 16 bucks um gatekeeper games good looking resin dice i like dice yeah i like i love dice <laughs> uh next up uh from goodman games again there's a uh dark tower supplement yeah uh the sunken temple of set so cool this is a uh, designed for seventh level parties um, but it says specifically, hey, you can use this as a sort of side adventure in your Dark Tower adventures. Yeah. Uh, designed for 5th for edition. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, them re-releasing uh, the Dark Tower mm. um, coming soon in, in uh, 2022. Yeah, I never so. played through Dark Tower, so I'd, I'd be happy to run it. Yeah, mm. looks great. Another quality release from Goodman Games. Yeah. So another game company that we've talked about on the channel is uh, Ninth Level Games. And this is their second volume of the Level 1 Anthology series, which is a collection of uh, about a dozen or so uh, two- or three-page role-playing games. So Quick so and dirty. Quick and dirty, rules light uh, role-playing games uh, put out by lots of different creators. And the thing that I like about Level 1 is there's at least one 
a new polymorph system game in each issue so far. Mm. So the polymorph game in this one is called Ball of the Wild, and it's about um, animals sure. uh, that are dressing up as other animals and going to a going to a, a ball and all the dra- <laughs> all the drama that happens at a dance. Sure, uh, you know uh, and. Uh, it's uh, you know it's just kind of kooky. That sounds fun. I think, yeah, yeah, it sounds fun. A lot of the a lot of the the polymorph uh, systems are are thinking outside the box mm. and offering a uh, different role playing experience. So if you've ever wanted to be an animal that dresses up like another animal, uh, check out Ball of the Wild in uh, the second volume of Level One. And there's a lot of other great games in here too, uh, worth checking out. And they have actually already opened up submissions for Volume Three. Ooh. So in January of 2022, if you want to create uh, a game for volume three of level one, uh, reach out to ninth level games and uh, get on that. That sounds awesome. Sounds great. Okay. In a similar vein of characters that are uh, animals mm. in Humblewood, the heart of Daco from Hit Point Press, uh, for fifth edition, you play as woodland creatures. Oh my. And uh, this is actually a pretty hefty sort of like mini adventure. Um, it comes with all the character sheets in the back of it um, for all the, the animals that you would need. Uh, so you don't even need to do character creation. Great. Just ready to go pick up, pick it up and play. All right. Next up, we have Vast Grim by Infinite Black. Mm. And this is a dark uh, sci-fi uh, role-playing game that uses the Merkborg uh, engine. <laughs> and so uh, Merkborg is a rules light uh uh, dark fantasy, uh, heavy, heavy metal, heavy metal, <laughs> uh, heavy on the, uh, you know, the presentation, uh, you know, and, and the, the imagery and yeah. the, and, um, but, uh, the basic idea with this is it's all player rolling, all player facing. And, uh, the, the, the GM just sets a difficulty rating. It's uh, meant to be brutal, mm. um, because, uh, you are rolling, uh, you know, to see if you get hit. Sure. Uh, and so you can't pull the punches as a game master and hi- you're not hiding. Behind. Yeah, yeah. The player is rolling whether or not they get hit. They get hit or they um, don't. So and you know right away. Right. <laughs> and you can't like fudge it because there it is out in the open. Um, so it's brutal, just like Merc Borg. Uh, so if you're into that and you want to you want to try it, the sci fi version, check out uh, Vast Grim. Next up from Privateer Press, we have an echo in the darkness which is an Iron Kingdoms 5th edition uh, mini supplement type thing. Nice. It's very reminiscent of Warhammer and Warhammer Age of Sigmar. Okay. Very steampunky, very, Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'm sort of getting like a Plague Doctor vibe of some of this stuff. Okay. Um, I've never played Warhammer. I've never played Age of Sigmar, but I've always liked the fantasy of it. Yeah. And this sort of seems like it has that same fantasy, uh, but for 5th edition. So someone like me, who's always playing 5th edition, I have that option now. Great. I really like it. It seems cool. All right. Next up, we have uh, Blue Rose Quick Start Rules coming out from Green Ronin uh, Publications. Uh, They're the publishers of the Mutants and Mastermind game and also lots of uh, D20 stuff from back in the day. Uh, Their latest game is the Age System, which is the uh, Adventure Game Engine. Mm. And it started off as uh, a Dragon Age, that video game. Uh, It started off as a Dragon Age uh, role-playing game. They then came out with Fantasy Age, which was the generic version. Uh, They then came out with Modern Age, which is, (laughs) right, obviously a modern role-playing game. And Blue Rose is a return to... uh, the campaign world that they started with their True 20 line. Uh, and so this is the Fantasy Age version of Blue Rose, okay. uh, bringing it uh, to their adventure game engine, which is a 3D6 uh, uh, role-playing game system. And it, it powers the Expanse role-playing game, which is their sci-fi. Okay. So it's their it's their game, the Age system, and lots of different ways Not to... Not tied to an IP like Dragon Age. Or right, whatnot. exactly. Yeah, right. And so this is their IP, right? Nice. Their world is, is Blue Rose. Uh, so if you're interested in checking out a different role-playing system that's a 3D6 system, uh, check out what Green Ronin uh, Publications is up to. From Pegasus Spiel, we have a Talisman Adventure uh, supplement. Awesome. Uh, Tales of the Realm, Curse of the Rat Queen. Mm -hmm. This is a condensed rule set, ready to go. You don't need any of the edition books or any of the the board game stuff for this. Um, 
It has all the pre-generated characters in it. You can play it as a one-shot or a, like a mini adventure. Super cool, super rules light, easy to go. All right, next up from uh, Modifius Entertainment, we have the Star Trek Adventures Quick Start Rules. I love Quick Start Rules. This is uh, Modifius uh, is uh, publishers of the latest Conan hmm. role-playing game, which uses the same system here, which is a 2D20 uh, system. And uh, I'm excited to... I've never played a Star Trek role-playing game, and I think this is a great way to jump yeah. in. One of the things I love about these quick start rules is it's formatted exactly like, uh, you know, a computer on uh, on the Next Generation ship. <laughs> um, so it's it's just a really great, really nice layout, uh, very attractive. Uh, and so if you're a Trekkie uh, like I am and you're, you've, you're looking to play a Star Trek role-playing game... Great way to jump in. Got the quick start rules, ready to rock and roll. It's got pre-gens, it's got an adventure, and the first half is uh, is the rules. So I'm looking forward to trying the, the 2D20 system, um, both the, the Star Trek and the Conan. From Come On uh, Games, which is cool mini or not, mm -hmm. they've shortened their name, uh, we have a Zombicide Chronicles um, as a set of mini adventures okay. for your zombie rpg needs Ooh. i feel like this is this is the only zombie related rpg that comes to mind for me uh super popular super awesome this comes with three missions that you can have your team go on super fun if you like zombies you'll like this one cool all right next up uh for me also from modifius entertainment is uh, another 2d20 system mm. uh this time for dune and so they are. Uh, they've had three releases for this free role-playing game day, uh, 2021. This That's is a lot. The, this is the second one we're showcasing. And again, it's quick start rules. It's an adventure, and it's pre-gens. This is uh, similar timing with the new Dune movie, mm -hmm. and it uses the same system, slightly altered, as uh, Star Trek and Conan. So they're they've got a great IP, uh, you know, great IP roster. Mm -hmm. uh, I haven't tried the game yet. I want to see if the game system holds up. To the wonderful IPs. Love Conan, love Star Trek, love Dune. Don't blow it. <laughs> <laughs> From Steamforge Games, we have The Hills Have Legs. Ooh. This is a Epic Encounters um, introduction to the to the box set game. Um, it's pretty spooky, pretty creepy. <laughs> unless you unless you like giant spiders, I guess that it wouldn't be very creepy, but I don't like giant spiders. This comes with a bunch of maps and a bunch of uh, uh, enemies to go against, and their stat blocks and everything. So it's a it's a really good resource. Great, nice fifth level adventure. Mm -hmm. All right, a third and final offering from uh, Modifius Entertainment here is Octung oh, Cthulhu, yeah. <laughs> and Octung Cthulhu also uses the two D twenty system. This time, uh, sh uh, showcasing a Cthulhu mythos during World War Two. And so if you've ever wanted to fight uh, Nazi occultists, this is the game for you. And again, uh, this is a quick start rules, pre-generated characters and an adventure. And it uses the same rules as Star Trek, as Dune, as Conan. Uh, again, just slight modifications for each game uh, to tailor it to the particular world and, and style of play. Mm. Um, this one I don't have any particular IP attachment to. Um, <laughs> Although apparently uh, Octung Cthulhu was actually a, uh, an, a, a part of Call of Cthulhu at one time. Oh. And um, yeah, so uh, also it was uh, for Savage Worlds as well. Sure. So this is uh, bringing this uh, lesser known IP uh, into alignment with the rest of Modifius Entertainment's uh, 2D20 role playing game system. Hmm. From Renegade Game Studios, we have a sort of sneak peek at the Power Rangers, G.I. Joe, and Transformers uh, games and role-playing games and what they will look like hopefully soon oh, in the future. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of people have been really excited about a potential uh, or, or the uh, G.I. Joe role-playing game. Yes. Um, <laughs> Count me among them. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> I mean, I grew up with Power Rangers, so yeah. like... Being a ranger is going to be really fun. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, being a transformer in some form is going to be awesome. That's so. that's the one of the three I can't, I don't, I don't understand how that's going to work. The tra <laughs> the transfer. Like G.I. Joe, I get. It's basically just like a modern role-playing game. Sure. 
Uh, but fighting Cobra is going to be awesome. <laughs> um, Power Rangers totally get again like a superhero role playing game. Sure. Transformers. Ah, Transformers. Yeah, you I, could I don't know. Be sort of like cyberpunky, like Starfinder. Maybe you're yeah. out in the stars in a different world. And I just know, wonder what happens when you. Prime. You know what's the game mechanic for like transforming and and that kind of stuff. I guess <laughs> you got to make a sound while you do it. Yeah, I guess you'll move faster or something sure. like that. Like sure, your sure, movement sure. will increase and that kind of thing. But I think there's a lot of customization there too. Yeah. This is the only thing that's out so far for this um, this rule system, and they sh- they're going to be sharing a rule system. Uh, yeah. The Hasbro uh, IPs mm. uh, and you know My Little Pony's right around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Jesse, you mentioned this before. Uh, Warhammer Age of Sigmar, we've got an adventure called uh, Reap and Sow. Uh, the one thing that's interesting about this is it's an adventure uh, and it has the rules as you play. Okay. Uh, it's not a separate section. It, it does help to cut down, I think, on the, the count, the page count. Mm. Um, I, to me, it's a little less user friendly. Um, I'd rather have the rules be separate. Sort of split, yeah. Um, but this is, a, this is a Warhammer uh, fantasy role-playing game put out by Cubicle 7. Cubicle 7 is a very British role-playing game company. They do Warhammer. They do Doctor Who. Sure. Um, it doesn't get more British than Doctor Who <laughs> or Warhammer. So there you go. Uh, and they used to put out uh, the One Ring, the Lord of the Rings oh, sure. role-playing game, but they no longer have that IP. So uh, here is Reap and Sell. From Paizo, yes. we have... Pathfinder's second edition, Threshold of Knowledge. This is a first level mini adventure. It has uh, a couple of pre-generated characters. Um, it's simple pick up and go. If you're if you're unfamiliar with the changes from uh, first edition to second edition, this is a good way to pick it up. Great. Um, there, there have been some significant changes and this is a, a pretty easy and digestible uh, version of that. Okay. All right. Also from uh, Cubicle 7 here is... Victoriana, which is a uh, steampunk uh, stealth 5th edition Hmm. role-playing game. So this does use uh, 5th edition rules, uh, but it is a Victorian age uh, in London, because, again, Cubicle 7, very British, uh, (laughs) London steampunk uh, type adventure. So if you want to play steampunk game and you want to do it using 5th edition rules, uh, check out Victoriana. The one thing about this, it doesn't say anywhere on it that it uses fifth edition, uh, but you know, I it does. <laughs> I learned it from reading it. Um, but uh, that's to me, that's a miss. It should say on it fifth yeah, yeah, edition because yeah. if I'm if I'm at a, a a shop and I'm just I get to just pick a couple releases, um, and I'm a fifth edition player, I'm going to be looking for that five E logo somewhere. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not on here, even though someone might. Uh, you know, grab this first. Yeah, specifically if, for that. Yeah, if they knew it was 5th edition, because steampunk is, is uh, you know, popular with, mm-hmm. with many folk. So uh, don't miss out on this if you are a 5th edition player who loves steampunk. Check out Victoriana from Cubicle 7. Another free RPG Day uh, edition from Paizo. Great. We have a mini Starfinder adventure. The Starfinder 4 versus the Hard Light Harlequin. Ooh. Uh, this is a, a very similar to the Pathfinder 1. It's a sort of mini adventure, a mini mission. Uh, it has pre-generated characters in the back um, and all the stats and, and items and things you would need. Quick and dirty rule set so you can get started with Starfinder. Um, Starfinder is super awesome. I hope to play it someday. Maybe this is the one that uh, that sort of jump starts me into to playing Starfinder. Yeah, and there's been a Starfinder release from Paizo on free role-playing game day, I think since free role-playing now, game's yeah. inception. Uh, they're good for a Pathfinder game and good for a Starfinder game every every free role-playing game mm-hmm. day, so check it out. All right, so coming to the end here, we've got uh, Twilight Imperium, the role-playing game. Now, this is a based on a board game from Fantasy Flight Games, uh, and this is not the first time that Fantasy Flight has tried to make a role-playing game out of Twilight Imperium. They also tried in 1999 oh. to bring it to life. Wow. Um, so it's, it's been about 20 years um, <laughs> since... Uh, but the board game is in its fourth edition, continues to be a very popular board game. Uh, but this time they're using the Genesis uh, system, Fantasy okay. Flight's Genesis system, which is the same uh, role-playing game engine as the current version of the Star Wars role-playing game. So if you play uh, Fantasy Flight's Star Wars role-playing game, here's a reskin of that uh, using the Genesis system for the Twilight Imperium 
uh, world, which is, uh, you know, obviously it's a sci-fi world. Mm. Uh, it's probably most famous for having lion people. And then finally bringing up uh, the end here of uh, the, all the swag from free role-playing game day, we've got Root, the role-playing game, which is coming to us from uh, Leader Games and Magpie Games. This is also based on a board game, mm. uh, the Root board game. And this is also playing animals. So there's somewhat <laughs> somewhat of a, a stealthy theme here in uh, in the free role-playing game day, playing animals and, and role-playing games based on board games. <laughs> uh, but this uses a 2D6 system, very rules light, uh, definitely looks like uh, from the art uh, that it would be uh, appeal to a, a lot of kids or, or kids audience, at heart, yeah. younger audience. Um, they've got a bunch of stuff coming out in January of 2022. Nothing's out yet, uh, but there is going to be a deluxe slipcase with two hardcover books in it. So if you're like me and you, you know, salivate at the thought of slipcovers and, and hardcover books, uh, and you also want to play uh, cutesy animals, check yeah, out The Root, Rules Light 2D6. Uh, great introduction here, quick start rules. Let us know if there's anything in this year's free RPG day uh, that you were interested in, that you plan on picking up, or if there's something that you already played. Uh, you can send us an email at uh, everyeditionrpg at gmail.com, or you can comment down below, or find us on any of our socials over at everyeditionrpg.com, and let us know if there was a particular animal that you like to play, or uh, if you enjoyed the Starfinder module or the Dungeon Crawl Classics one, yeah, uh, let us know. And help us to hit, we're working on trying to hit 100 subscribers on YouTube. Mm. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button so that we can try to hit that uh, 100 subscribers and unlock the next level of achievement <laughs> on YouTube. Um, appreciate you uh, checking us out. And uh, thanks as always.